I wound up wrapping up the, uh, part two of the fucking 90 Day Fiance. Dude, I did too. I watched it last night. I did too. That was my big... Uh, th- th- I didn't even watch the whole season, but you don't have to. You can no. kind of jump in. Yeah. You but, know what the stories dude, are. Dude, the obsession with people's sh- shitty marriages. Like the whole fucking network, TLC, is just people's failing marriages. It's great. What's her, the family Chantel? They, so 90 Day Fiance, it's the... We talk Would about you the, watch that? I, dude, I, I started... I can, Tweeting about it, it's so. Did you see part one of the reunion? Oh, with that, Chantel. Wait. Oh, the, uh, oh, you're looking for some construction. Yeah, there it is. I hear it. That slight buzzing. Yeah. That's not Jim humming. No, not at all. No, that's a uh, construction going on beneath us. Yeah. So, the, so of course, 90 Day Fiance is the show that we talk about all the time. By the way, Jim and myself obsessed with this show from season one far longer than. You know, the world's been obsessed with it. I remember when I saw a commercial for this show, it was on like when you get to the movies early and they go like, oh, coming to TLC this fall is before the show even debuted. I watched the first episode of 90 Day Fiance on television and I've been obsessed with the show ever since. It's the show where they, uh, you know, they, the person meets their other uh, potential spouse overseas. Right. And they bring him to the States on a K-1 visa, and just about all the marriages end in some form of disaster. Well, that's the ones they're showing you. Yes. I'm sure that there's some that they don't show. And after a while, it's like we get it. The marriages suck. There's no mystery to it anymore. That's why I like it, but not as much as I used to, because... It was fun when some of them wouldn't work and some of them would. Mm-hmm. Now almost all of them are a disaster. It's like, oh, okay, I get it. This is just one disaster. And, and some of it feels staged at this point. Some of it doesn't. But some of it feels like, oh, okay. They we know, just, like they know what sells. They know what sells. They're going to selectively edit. When I found out that that shitty couple, um, Chantel and her husband and whatever, got the show, even though it's probably... Fun to watch them fucking hate each other. It's like, ugh. So they, it all feels fake. They found the the couple that they had that probably fought the most. And the families hated each other. And the families hated each other. There were physical fights. It was Chantel and her husband. And her husband, I think, is from Dominican Republic. Right? Yeah. Not the most reasonable. Right. right. And they ended up like, uh, the husband ended up getting into a fight with her little brother. And the parents don't talk to each other. And the, and the, husband's sister called the wife a bitch and a whore and all this stuff has gone on they just constantly fight the Chantel and her husband are fighting over the families and they just fight all the time and they announced at the reunion that they're doing a spinoff show where it's just going to be Chantel and her husband and they're just following them around hoping that the fights continue it makes me really fucking hate uh the producers why and you know, because I, you can just see that when a couple is falling apart, it's like, get, get this, get this, get this, get this. And I, I know, I'm a viewer, so I know why they're doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm part of the problem. But when, I, when you think about it and how, like, these families hate each other and the marriages are failing, how the glee it gives the producers. And I, I know it's a business and these people are volunteering. I'm not saying anybody's committing a criminal act. It just, on some level, it makes me fucking hate the people at the network. But... I think that this has a lot more to do. One, It's one thing if they start a certain way and it falls apart and you document the falling apart and make it look even worse. It's another thing when things fall apart and then TLC goes, do you want us to keep the cameras around and we'll give you your own series? And they go, that sounds like a great idea. Like at this point, it's on the people. No, it's, I think it's in a way it's always on the people. I mean, they make the decision, even yeah. though they're not used to being on TV. They now take, they're used to being on TV. Now they are, yeah. But I'm saying when they first start, they take a hey, they take responsibility. They sign up for it. But and they, and look, we want interesting TV, but it makes me hate the network because they never show the couples that are doing well because that's not interesting. So and I know with reality TV, they set up situations like the way they revealed that Colt. Uh, that Larissa had this little boyfriend with her. As a surprise. The way they revealed it, the way they surprised it. It's like they don't care that this guy's pain is real. Like, Mm -hmm. and he's really... I get it. I watched it. You know what I mean? But it's the teases. You know, ooh, the boyfriend. It it just kind of, I don't know. It makes me hate myself a little bit for watching it too. Yeah, you're too sensitive about it. I mean, all these 
It's not being there. sensitive. It's 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 hating them because I know that these type of little fucking weasels behind the scenes are going. All right, great. Oh, we're gonna reveal the boyfriend and bah, bah, bah. And to them, it's just. You ever see a network when he fucking says to Diana, "It's all you know. It's all seconds, and, and it's all broken down into seconds, like bottles of beer, human." Su- and that's what it is. It's like we don't give a fuck about the people at but all. But they're not taking advantage of the people. Like the I'm t- not even saying they are. It just makes me you hate. You don't them. think Colty? The, you didn't feel bad for Colty? I felt bad for him yesterday. Yeah, yeah I mean, he, that was pretty evil. Yeah, He's but just they're a dude. He's they're all guy. trying to. Everybody on the show is just trying to get themselves over too. Sure. Like they all. If you do any research into all of them, they all have little like side businesses and they're all trying to capitalize yep. off everything nobody leaves feeling victimized some of, I, I think some of them unless do. they disappear from the show if you can hear that sorry yeah um i, I think so, something on my mic is not for me <laughs> this is exactly why you wanted to be able to switch out the windscreen right you bet <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i think that they're all like they're all making that assessment like this isn't one of those where people don't know what they're getting into and they're being taken advantage of. This is one where people know exactly what they're getting into. Yeah. They know exactly what they're doing. 100%. And they want it they they don't mind going through this roller coaster if it means they're getting paid. Yeah, and again, it's it's like not, not like I think they're being victimized. It's just when I look at it and I know what it is, it's like uh um but again, I watched it, I enjoyed it, but it just on some level it makes me hate uh, the people behind the scenes, kind of, they're scrambling around with their headsets. All right, cool. She's walking out. She's walking out. Get her walking out. Get her walking out. Like you just know the mentality of them, who just want to get good TV, and they don't give a fuck about anything that's actually happening. And if something nice happens, they don't want to show that because that's not good TV. So, and again, fuck us, the viewers, me included, because we don't like the nice any more than. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I, also, I watch the shitty too before I watch the good. It's kind of what we did on the radio for a long time too. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, yeah. again, it's not. I'm not saying that these poor people, the networks are terrible. It just when I watch the whole overall thing because they're not showing couples really doing well much anymore. I kind of. Well, they got Russ and Pow. They do, yeah, but they, I think they brought them back because they have a baby and they're one of a couple that I, had a baby. I'll tell you why they brought Russ and Powell back. Russ and Powell are the couple that we've been following since season one. They the brought, originals. They brought Russ and Powell back because Powell speaks up on every, is, is so ready to She's just explain what everybody is doing yeah. wrong that they love that. Yeah. Like, because it's so annoying to have somebody else who's just in the same boat as you going like, no, this is wrong. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing this. How many people on that couch on that show were like, "Shut up, pal!" And why do we? And again, I'm I'm guilty of it too. So I would say we. Why do we like the mess more? Like, why is it more fun to watch the disaster? Conflict is interesting. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, who cares about like? If you're just doing well, you're just doing well. Mm. You know. I mean, yeah. I guess, but th- there are shows where people just are in love and do well, but they last like a season. Yeah, I you know what I mean. The, and, and, but then the fighting feels fake on the, like if they know they're all being filmed and they're doing a show. I hate when they have the these these meaningful conversations in mm-hmm. front of the. I, I just don't feel like I can trust you. Yes, but you weren't there <laughs> yesterday. How come you're not bringing me what I need? Because I had to go to work. It's like yeah, <laughs> still an idiotic moment. Plus, you know, you amp it up to two hours. I know. You got a lot of TV to fill. But this is what I mean. Like, you you watch that one episode that we watched a while back where it was 90 days before the 90 days. And it was that guy who went to Columbia and got stood up by the girl. I know. And he was waiting there for, like, hours. And the girl was obviously just, like, you know, putting him through the ringer. And you could feel bad for him. But at the same time... He was doing the same thing to another girl yeah. who was there that he was just trying, okay, I'll get her on the show and I'll marry her instead of this one. And then he wound up leaving her and going back to his ex. Right. So it's like, that was interesting because that had an ending that was like, yeah, he went back to the, like, to me that at least felt like it worked out in a real way. Like it wasn't just conflict. Like he met the one girl and it got along and th- yeah, there's going to be problems and they have to highlight that with the music, you know, but he said to me, he brought the roses. <laughs> 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 Again, I know I'm part of the problem, so I should just shut up. I don't know why. I, I, I felt bad for that fucking cult yesterday. Why? I just did. He knows what he's doing. I know he does. It's, I still felt bad for him. Plus, like every story you read about- His mother. Like, Colty, <laughs> you're supposed to. She's not very nice to me. So, so the show started with the blonde and her 
Jamaican husband who's like 23 yeah who Jay. The, the minute that he got to the states i think they were married for like a couple days and she caught him already on tinder just trying to swipe me like i'm an american now and it was just it was just this little moment that i just like started cracking up because they talked to him and they go jay how many women have you slept with since being in the united states and he goes two and they go including your wife he goes three three <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jay is Jay's kind of like he, he's very fucking shady, but I think she's also difficult. Yeah, she's... it's harder too when you're a, a young guy and you're coming over, and the woman is a few years older and she has a couple of kids. It is a different. But she said at one point they were arguing and he, he had like a whole other relationship going on mm -hmm. and was texting and talking and uh, and he goes, well, let, let me just go and be happy. She's my age, and that must have hurt. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, age is always a big thing for women. Because this little yeah. blonde thing that married Jay, like she's very cute. She's super cute. She's not an old lady. No, she's probably in her thirties. Yeah, but he's like twenty-one. Exactly. Yeah. So young swinging dick from that's Jamaica. Right. And he's a good-looking guy. He shaves the little cuts into his eyebrows. He's probably rolling in pussy. Well, yeah. And when we met them, it was very clear that the strong bond between them was mainly sexual. Yeah. It appeared that they liked having sex all the time. And even like when they were going to get married, every word out of this Jamaican kid Jay's mouth was about fucking her. But he was dumb though because he didn't wait. Like he rushed <laughs> into being just. It's like give yourself a time to get used to the fucking states and then start fucking around. Look, you're 21, 22, By the way, 23. I'm doing exactly what I did. <laughs> you hear me 10 seconds ago, and now what I'm doing, I'm right in again. <laughs> of course, you are. It's interesting. I'm right back in. I, I know. What, what do you? I know. Yeah, it's interesting. What you know do you like? Why? Because you want to be better than this, yep. but we're not. God, that's exact. All right, Travis said exactly it. I want to be better than this, and I'm not. None of us are. You're right. right. I want to be better than this, and I'm not. Yeah, I don't care about it. I'm not even trying to convince myself but, that I should be but better. But Travis than this. hit the, the, that's exactly what it was. It's like I really do want to be better. Not for appearances, but in my soul I want to be better and I'm not. But this is you're I'm not better. You don't have to be better than this. But I'm worse. You can be worse. It's okay. I'm not better than this. <laughs> you're right, Travis. Look. If you if you have people in your life, friends or whatever. I do. That's right not back. wasn't the end of the oh, <laughs> we're not going to break. Oh, okay. If you have, <laughs> be right back. If you <laughs> if you have friends in your life, loved ones that are going through relationship trauma and you're like laughing at them and entertained by that, then you're a bad person. If you have people who volunteer for a show, put all their fights on display. Yep. Knowing this is a show about people fighting with each other. Knowing, yeah, everybody knows what they're doing here. Yeah. And you watch that and you're entertained by people entertaining you with their nonsense. It doesn't make you a bad person. I don't feel bad when they, it, like, if it just doesn't work out. Like, it happens. Like, she, he actually at one point said that he didn't have sex with anybody. And she said, Really? And he said, April Fall. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I, I realize, like, at times, like, the, the pain these people have is real. Like, so you do kind of at, at times feel bad for them, even though they're on TV and they volunteer for it. It's like, you know, like, they are being kind of, uh, you know, devastated by some of these things. I am curious, though, as to what happened to some of the, the other couples. But, I mean, think about it. You're a Jamaican kid, 21, oh, 22, 23. Well, Irish guy. Yeah, I understand. Oh. You're there. He said, like, it's, he, they said he was just fucking everything that moves in Jamaica when he was living there. Yeah. You get to the States. You probably like white women. I would imagine he went to the States with one, right? You get into the United States. You see these apps where there's just hundreds and hundreds of women at your disposal. Of the type of women you used to fuck in Jamaica as tourists. Right. Now they're everywhere. And they got money. And they got money. And uh, you think at his age you can be strong enough to sit there and go, you know what? Before I do anything like this, I should wait. He's a good looking guy too. Yeah. yeah. Like that's, I mean, it's like being a little kid going into a candy store and saying, I shouldn't have any dessert until after dinner. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you can't. You can, how, could, how could he wait? But uh, it, it was so funny when the other guy looked at Jay and he's like, uh, You fucking dark bag scumbag. He's probably playing that. Who's the other guy? The big, uh, the big uh, guy with the fucking beard. 
Fucking <laughs> the Russian guy you. with the bow tie. Of course, he's Russian with the bow tie. <laughs> Boy, he's a that guy is a problem. He probably takes giant kielbasa shits. Yeah, he does. And could punch through a wall. Yeah, you're not treating her right. Yeah, he's a big dude. <laughs> so you know, I I think most of my attention was focused on Larissa and Colt. This is the couple yeah. that we've talked about. Colty, he is the Godzilla-shaped young man. He is, yes, he is exactly <laughs> the new Godzilla shape. Yes, he perhaps has. Uh, he's perhaps on the spectrum, uh, judging by the way he sits. Now I've heard <laughs> his that, little feet pointed out and his hands on his legs. He crazy. He's the worst sitter ever. People say that he's not that nice of a guy, and he's very into like strip clubs and and finding chicks there and going apparently he's kind of perverted oh good apparently good. not like in an unhealthy way but apparently he's kind of perverted and they just don't show that part of him on the show that's not true he's a good boy <laughs> he lives he lives with his mom let's go have some beef stew <laughs> Debbie. It sounds like that debbie now unfortunately larissa and debbie Never really got along. They were at odds. Yeah, there was a lot of conflict on the show. Uh, at one point, Culty did call the police on Larissa and filed uh, charges for physical assault. Multiple times. Multiple times. Charges were dropped. Yeah. But there were multiple charges of physical assault. Yeah. There was another, you know, regrettable moment when Larissa took off her wedding ring and engagement ring as well, the diamond ring, and flushed it down the toilet. And they discussed how much it was worth last night. There was a, they were, didn't agree on it though. They did not agree, because I'm wondering, because he doesn't have a lot of money, and they said, how much was did you spend for that? And he said he spent $2,000. And uh, she, she uh, took issue with that and said, you didn't spend more than 200 on that ring. <laughs> it's not a particularly great ring. So yeah. she's thinking two hundred, and the mother's chimed in. The mother's got it. She just sits there with her, and I, that's like taking Colty's paycheck and flushing it down the toilet. I just love that the mother. She's in on it, but yeah. yeah, that's also where you know what's going on. That the mother sees the financial value of the ring, not like you know. I feel like it's one thing if it's two thousand dollars or two hundred or however much it was, but really the symbolism of taking your engagement and wedding ring, whatever it is and flushing it down the toilet, that should hurt more than the financial value. Three people walked off less, and that's my favorite thing, is there's always someone who storms off set. Right, but then they come back after the break. Of course they do. <laughs> they come right back, because they love the cameras. They could leave at any time. Or well, just not go to begin with. Of course you don't have to go. You realize, oh, this show is really a toxic thing. I'm not going to go back. That's why I don't get upset about it, because... They already know the toxic environment that they're in. They're volunteering for the toxicity, and they go, can I please have some more? I bet you Michael from fucking, uh, where is he from? Was he uh, African or from? Uh, is Michael the one that? Uh, the the guy who was like, oh, she too, she's fat. Yeah, she, he's from Africa, and he had an overweight <laughs> blonde white woman uh, meet him in Africa, and he looked for clothes that were flattering for her, and he let the uh, store clerk know She's a little embarrassed to try things on because she's fat. Yeah, she is fat. I bet you he is still trying to parlay that into a season two and trying to find another girl. It's me. Exactly. I have another. Exactly. I met someone. I guarantee you, all these guys that are no longer on, of course, are looking. Even though he doesn't understand, he wasn't the. He was interesting because he was dating her. Exactly. But they all want a little more of that rub. They all want more fame. Um. I don't know. We got a few clips. How's from... the Russian kid doing with his? Well, yeah. See, like that's one of those that I think that that doing is okay. Yeah, that's where they kind of make up a little of the tension. Like I think he's just got normal issues where the dad and the son-in-law don't get along that well. No, 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 not them. I mean the one who had the baby in Russia, but he didn't file her papers. Oh, but it seemed like they were doing okay. I think they were doing okay. That's why they don't. Spend much time covering yeah, them. Yeah, and that's kind of annoying. Like, I'd like to see them doing well. And and the British couple, the the guy who was she's stuck in England. She's over there now. Yeah, she's over there. They're doing fine. But is, isn't it like, are they married yet? I guess they are. I think they're married, yeah. And he can't get over here? He can't because he's got assault charges. Now, will he ever get that dropped or no? I mean, will he uh, ever be able to or no? They don't know. I'm not a Bobby. Yeah, that's true. Well, you, know? you are in someone's lap. <laughs> because of bobbing? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you want to see a clip of Larissa and Colt just kind of talking about their marriage to bring everybody up to speed? Let's get everybody up to speed. Okay, let's go to track one. It was a great show. I mean, I, I yeah, and again, I, I, miss, I miss several episodes this season. Me too. But I felt okay. Because again, you don't need to watch every episode. No. It's just more fights. My favorite one is the fucking, I also love the fucking, the, the chubby white girl who's dating the guy from Morocco. <laughs> 
Uh, and at the end of it, they realize you, she's like, "Yeah, people are asking why we're not married because it's been three and a half years." I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, three and a half years. Yeah, she hasn't seen her in a, a year. Yes. They haven't seen each other in a year. Yeah, I mean that's, that, that's I don't think that has a great future. Absence can make the heart grow fonder, though. Yes, and apparently it doesn't make the waist grow thinner. Okay. <laughs> she wouldn't like to hear that. Well, I mean, look, that's probably the problem why he's probably not doing it. Because she's, she's a big girl. She, he did, when he met her, he did mention he was disappointed with her size. Did he really? And he she's did. not doing, and, and it's been three and a half years and you're not dropping it. I mean, she hasn't dropped weight, no. 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 And Russ and Pow are just sitting in the middle so Pow can sit there and judge everybody. Yep. She's the greatest. Yep. Happy for everything, but I also want to, my husband, you know. Larissa, you're using Debbie as an excuse. No, you don't listen. listen. I say I'm not blaming Debbie. Yes, you just said you wish I was the man for you, your husband for you, but Debbie. Like, you could have been a wife anytime. You could have been there for me. I don't think you've done anything for me at all in the time that we Did were married. Do you remember when I tried to clean the house and Debbie gets upset? Debbie is territorial like a cat, you know? And she doesn't want, we won't call all the woman there. You know like, this. I think by the way, they show the faces, they're like they're all looking at each other. Either they just take shots of them looking and dub it in to get reactions. They're laughing like at him. Like, I think it's so funny to watch a couple arguing on television. It's one of the biggest shows on cable. And they're just sitting there going, Remember, I tried to clean the house. And Debbie was like, Oh, you can't clean the house. We got into a fight. And it's like, That's what we're watching. Yep. It's great. It, it's just watching people. Uh... It does make you feel better about your own interactions you're like oh i'm doing great i'm so my relationship is so healthy by the way brian in philly is exactly correct i am yeah I, I know i'm gonna keep watching for all the for all the fucking shit i just talked i'm not better than this travis am i better than this oh where's travis you went to rob, a, rob knows you're not shit. better than this too i don't know why you were you were going off on that well it's just something that i've like thought you got of. so woke all of a sudden no it wasn't well i just was annoyed with myself i'm like why am i enjoying this but that travis hit the nail on the head you became a woke sjw Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Brian in Philly. What's up, Brian? Hello, white male. <laughs> <laughs> Cis white male. <laughs> What's up, Brian? Hey, guys. Hey, How man. you doing? Hey, Good. The, um, yo, do you have the scene where sexy Chantel is yelling at Colty and she says, don't say another word to me, and Colty just sits back and he goes, two things, three things. <laughs> <laughs> her head fucking explodes. I don't know. Thank you, buddy. I mean, the fights between the couples interacting with each other is great. And that's another reason, by the way, why Chantel is the one that got the spinoff show. It's because she's like super hot. I don't. Yeah, I guess she is. She's a little ditzy. Like the more you get to know her, the more you're like, this is a lot to deal with. She's a bit of a ditz. A little? She's a bit of a ditz. Do you find her to be ditzy, Rob? Oh, yeah. Did you watch yeah. her show at all? I haven't seen it yet, no. There's so many hours of this. I only have There's so many so hours in the day. I'm trying to raise my own family. They're you doing know. another before the 90 days starting of like course last they are. night. Okay. This is becoming the 90 day network. Are you guys watching uh, <laughs> You watching The Other Way? Not yet. Oh, no. it's great. I'm sure oh, it's amazing. Do you like these shows? I'm addicted. <laughs> They're great. I like two shows on television. This one and Ancient Aliens. Now, what is, the, what is the... Um, and they, what, what is the... Uh, 90 Day the Other Way? Yeah, it's when they go live there. They go there. Which, I mean, it sounds amazing. It's it just, sounds fucking incredible. This old lady goes with this young Indian guy, moves over to India. <laughs> he wants her to wear like the traditional stuff. Of course, they're in India. He never told her his parents... So he lied to his parents to move somewhere else. <laughs> and then the old lady's upset. It's, How old are we talking? She's probably she's in her sixties. He's probably thirty. That's great. See, already I'm I'm hooked. I think that sounds amazing. Yeah, it does sound interesting. These uh, people I'm moved sure. to third world countries, and it's right. also so funny. The guy, the couple the, with the with the chubby lady there, and her and her husband and or boyfriend in Morocco, Nicole and Azin. Thank you. Yes. Are you going to move there with him? And and it's almost like, do you really think he wants to live in his home country with her? He wants to get to America. He's not going to live there with her. Of course. Yeah, you got Chant what a Goose. You're gonna have Chantel on this new show, running around in a bikini on the Dominican Republic, and then fighting with her in-laws. That sounds like a great show. Yeah, I just don't like when it feels forced and like I like if it's gonna be conflict and they show it. Okay, fine, bro. But I don't. I, it's like you know that, that a lot of them are just like, oh, here's the two families. Ugh. What are you watching? You know, what I mean, this is what this is. I guess it is. Something else kind of funny. I don't know if you noticed, like when they take a break and stuff, they're all drinking Red Bull. 
Of course they are. Like, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? just trying to jack them up. Of course. Get you way caffeined yeah. up. Right. You want another Red Bill? They're trying to give them six packs of Pepsi. I'll bet you there's liquor break. backstage, too. Of course there's liquor. Of course there is. You want a drink? Yeah, here, like, Colt. Let's relax. Have a shot. And you'll see. We'll play a couple of clips. The more Colt gets worked up, the more he's, like, demanding that they do things. Like, he's trying to direct the yeah. show, and they never listen to him. No, they did with one thing, though. Well, he was going to leave. Well, yeah, it took him a while, though. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the uh, description. Uh, it's Colt and Larissa talking about their marriage. Larissa, you could have been more patient. You know, you know this, Colt. You okay. cannot deny. Larissa, there were a lot of people who questioned whether you even loved Colt. What would you say to them? I truly love Colt. In my way, I did everything for him, you know? And maybe it wasn't enough. Plus, we we had problems. Do you think Larissa really loved you? No. I don't know. What? Of course I, not. I, no, of course not. She might have, on some level, had something for him. But Jim, you he, are such a sucker for love. No, I just. She wanted to come to the states. She, a hundred percent. But I also think that he was in the mother thing. Like, I think that might have just made her go, what the fuck is this? It was the torso thing, too. Yeah, the torso thing's not good. Larissa's hot. A bit nutty, but hot. A bit. I think she's, <laughs> a, my opinion is that she has some kind of a personality disorder. Yeah. But hot. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not not hot. What's that? <laughs> Probably a lot of fun. Oh, yes, but not hot enough. She has kids. I, I, she said that at the end. I want for my kids. I didn't know she had kids. Not in the States. But not hot enough to pull this off. Like to, to with be cult? as difficult. Yeah, I guess so. With Colt, you have to figure out like what is the what's the ratio here? Colt never got a woman like that before that yeah, could rock so. his world like that. That's true. You think no. she fucks him good? Uh, amazing. And I'm gonna make a wild prediction here. I don't think Colt looks that good naked. No. I disagree. I think he may have torso issues. Maybe, and his feet, little feet point out. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I mean, there are times where he has full-on breasts. I yeah, he does. Look, Troy, let's, if we could refer to them as torso issues, <laughs> let's keep it fair, you know? Yeah, he, he had a lot of time to slim down. He didn't. Did he still have the breasts at the reunion? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah he, he did. He was very, very busty. Busty. <laughs> yeah, he was Meatloaf in Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Meatloaf's uh, nickname in Fight Club was, I believe, Bitch Tits. Yeah. Okay, okay, just making sure we're all on the same page. Larissa loved me, but the way she acted, she never listened to anything that I needed or wanted from her. She always complained about my mother or money or the car or everything was wrong with her. The problem was, Colt, I tried to work out. You ignored me 99% of the time. I just said I wanted a hug. You called me needy. <laughs> I asked you to calm down, not to yell and scream and go crazy. Because you wanted to clean the garage, I said, just chill out. We cannot even get along together as a couple. And you're worried about cleaning the garage. <laughs> yeah, she, he wants to hug. She goes, you're needy. You're <laughs> needy. Go, hug. go clean the garage, you needy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we'll go straight to the third clip because the mom came on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she didn't do what she said she was going to do. <laughs> 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 it's, it's I don't always, know how to get deported. It's always good when you're confronting your uh, ex-wife on television because they're divorced now already, Colty and, and uh, Larissa. They are, yeah. It's always good when you're confronting your ex-wife on television to have your mom there to support you, yep. you know? Being here is... <laughs> Can you already hear the gym emotions. impression? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Like to anybody that doesn't watch. <laughs> Can you hear that like it's a spot-on impression? <laughs> <laughs> if Larissa starts attacking me out, I will attack back. I'm just going to clap back. I'm not going to let her talk to me that way. <laughs> and what's amazing is Jim does a pretty good physical impression of her as well. Thank you. That was not intentional. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You didn't come in your uh, in, in your pants? In yes, your, I did. In your Debbie outfit? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. My mistake. I'm sure Larissa is going to be blaming me for everything. She looks like an old male country western singer <laughs> yeah, <that fits. laughs> yeah like like porter wagner towards the end yeah like yeah. she should be fucking uh, getting a lifetime achievement at the grand old opry <laughs> on the fucking country channel she's got a rhinestone jacket on with uh with fringes on the arms boy there's a lot of cameras there 
Yeah, they got a lot of cameras. They want to make sure they catch everything. They film everyone. Yeah. They got tons of cameras so that they get every bit of footage they can get and lots of coverage backstage. Her upcoming court date isn't very far away, and I want her to be deported. Because as long as she's here, she'll always have a coat to fall back on, and I don't want that. Guys, she's gotten skinny. Hey, Mom. Hey. You don't want to hear Hi, that. Debbie. Hello. You been watching? Yeah. Uh-oh. I can't hear. I couldn't hear her real well. Oh, good. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm fantastic. My question to you is, what was it like living with Larissa during this time? She was a real cunt. She would always make fun of my apartment and talk about my son's bosoms. <laughs> Man, look how skinny Colt's ankles are. Yeah. I mean, you wonder, yeah. how can ankles that size support what's above it? My son has tiny ankles and a little head. He has parentheses disease. <laughs> It's like, it's like you just got the font size all wrong. <laughs> the font size is 16. The parentheses is a 7. Yeah. <laughs> it's little teeny ankles. Little bowling shoes. He's got, <laughs> yeah. They're comfortable. And he's got that tiny little head. Yeah. You see, the head is depressing because when somebody's got a head that size and ankles that size, you realize that they're not, the genetics haven't made them overweight. Right. It's, you know what I mean? Yep. When you see a fat guy with a fat head, right. you go... You know, it's one of those things where there's probably a lot of genetics. He's going to have to work really hard to get that weight off because he's probably got a lot of fat folks in his family. But when you see a guy with a small head and small ankles and a big fat torso, yeah. you go, okay, that's just indulgence. Yep. That's just somebody who en enjoys a treat. Hell. It was hell. Larissa is very moody. One day she wake up, she's happy as can be. She's all friendly. And the next day she'd wake up and she wouldn't talk to you. Or Larissa, was that true? Were you very moody with Debbie? Would she try to say good morning? I never blame you 100%, Debbie. If you listen to me, I always say what a good mother. You take care of your son. But yes, I won't lie to you. I wanted to live with Coach Alon. Uh, and uh, yes, I agree with Debbie. I was very moody and I wasn't the very bad environment. I mean, to be fair to Larissa. Living with somebody and their mom? Yeah, I mean, coming to another country to marry a man and then you have to live with his mom. Yeah. Who's, it's not exactly a dream scenario. And his mom is not like just in the bedroom ill. His mom is like running the household. Right. And she's got a very annoying voice as she runs the household. Oh, my glasses. Where's my hair gel? <laughs> Where's my hair gel? You threw your rig down the toilet? That's one of Colty's paychecks. <laughs> Colt shouldn't have to deal with this. I don't like air conditioning. Why does Colty's mom know anything about Colty's paychecks? She shouldn't. My mom doesn't know anything about my paychecks. I love my mother. <laughs> she handles his bills still, I bet. I bet she does too. Yeah. Colty, just put your money in my yeah. account. I'll handle it. I'll make you some of the well, succotash in the morning. <laughs> succotash. Your favorite blueberry pancakes and succotash. That's his breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Extra you, roll of toilet paper. You're going to have a double helping. <laughs> yeah, the mother was a little bit of a. A little, a little bit of a bitch. Remember how upset she got when uh, Larissa wanted the slot machine that was in <laughs> the yeah. dining room? Larissa asked shitty, though. She Larissa, asked shitty. Larissa, said, Larissa oh. said that she wanted the slot machine thrown out because there's a slot machine in the living room. She wasn't Larissa nice. was ready for it to go in the garbage. Yeah. And yes, and Debbie was extremely pissed. Larissa was very rude. Larissa was rude, and she would walk around in her underwear all the time. I would like that. I would like that, but my mom would hate it. So you're a big fat ass. Imagine living with your mom, and Larissa's walking around with her ass cheeks sticking out all the time. Uh -huh. Like, your mom doesn't need to know what, your, what her son's tapping, right? Yeah. No mother wants to know. But Larissa made it known. She did. Yes, yeah, she did. Debbie, did you want Colt and Larissa's marriage to succeed? I don't hate Larissa. I hate what she's done. I feel the same about you, Debbie. But of course, when involving her son, she'll take care of him. She'll protect him. I try to stay away from them as much as possible to let them live their life. Yeah, it's hard though when you're fucking in the same kitchen, <laughs> right? <laughs> trying to trying to elbow each other out to use the same one frying pan in the household. Yeah, everybody needs eggs. Um. She, yeah, Larissa pulled a real cunt move yesterday. 
She did. You want to go to clip four? To me, this made the show. I thought it was great. And, and that's why they did it. I, I thought, I, I thought. For all my nonsense before I watched it. I thought it was great. Yeah. This is I what guess you want. I, human drama. I know. Come on. I guess I would want to get back with Larissa. Never say never. <laughs> Okay, right. So here we are. Ugh. We're like, okay. He said he loves you already. He did. He's like, I still love you. <laughs> and she said, never say never. And you're like, oh my God. Maybe we're going to see Colt and Larissa get back yep. together. This Even though is, they're divorced. They're divorced now, but still. Some bonds are just too strong to be broken, right? Right. So you're not saying no? No. Who, what? Are you there with somebody, Larissa? Okay, stop it, host. And she looks stop off. Stop it, host. <laughs> she looks off and smiles at somebody off camera. And they, and then, yeah, that this is where they, they exa again, it's TV, but it's like, you fucking assholes. Dude, it's exposed later in the show that there's a producer in the room with Larissa. Even though Larissa's joining them on Skype, there's a producer in the room with And this them. guy has to be mic'd. The other guy has to be mic'd. Of course the other guy has to be mic'd. So everybody who's making the show is aware. All guests on the show are invited guests. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm with you, Eddie Kim. <laughs> You're with your boyfriend, Eric, right? Is oh. he listening to this? He's listening. He's no, like, I'm not. He's not. <laughs> and, he, and they pull back, and he's sitting okay. right there off camera while she's on the bed. She, he, and he's already, he's been mic'd. Yep, ready to just jump on. He's ready to jump on. And they're giggling, because... Uh, but I, By the way, I bet he came in recently. He wasn't there the whole time. <laughs> Uh, he came in probably. He probably listened on a monitor. But then oh, and came then, into and the, then room at the, the very chair end. was waiting for him. Uh -huh. so, okay, go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. So, just in case he made any sounds or anything. Right. Yeah. My friend just heard you say you would basically think about getting back together with. No, I, I don't say that. I want it, but I say that no. So I, I don't. I don't answer. Yeah, no answer. <laughs> well, dumb doing, smile. Man. Her dumb smile. She thinks it's funny. She's yes, like, she how is. hilarious is this? You were just like, maybe we'll get back together. And I was like, this is the dude I'm fucking. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Cold is like, she should be with me. <laughs> <laughs> she should be with me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, Cold can't be happy. This guy's like, he's in pretty good shape. Good looking he's, guy. He's in better shape. He is in better shape. Yeah. yeah. I found him fairly hateable, but. Yeah. Of course he's that's hateable. The, that's the role he's playing. He's a scumbag. But I don't know if he is or not. He just met a girl who's divorced. He's, he's laughing at her ex on TV. Like, ha ha, I'm fucking this chick. You brought her over here, but now I'm fucking her. Yep. Isn't that funny? Yep. Like, that's not a nice thing to do. That's very mean. Probably. He's yeah. a bad guy. He met her on Tinder. Of course he did. That's kind of hitting the jackpot. Yeah, because now you got this TV now gay guy. Right? She, was yeah. on <laughs> she was on Tinder. Right? That's... She's doing the same thing that Jamaican Jay was. Yep. Does that mean you're thinking about it? Are you legally married still? No, we're not. Uh, the, uh, Larissa, can Eric pop in for oh, a second? God. Where is he? Can, can no, what a, what a spontaneous uh, what a spontaneous call by the host. Oh, do you think Eric could just pop in that chair that you're? Oh, you're could sitting on Mike's the bed. Mike's Eric pop in. Yeah. Would you guys mind sitting on the bed together? By the way, I love how she's talking into an iPhone, but they have giant cameras of that they it. can put in. Like I don't and lighting. It. Yeah, and lighting. Right. Uh, what am I missing here? <laughs> That's not an iPhone that we're seeing. By the way, you're not watching her through an iPhone, I don't think. Is that, does iPhone have that good of uh, connection? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, good, if you get in, good internet, I'm sure. Yeah, it okay. could be. Yeah, it could be in the room because she is Skyping in. But yeah, I mean, but there's other full fledged cameras in there with her for other shots, yeah. This is really awkward. He's calling me. Oh, my God. Eddie <laughs> So can we all just get along? <laughs> what am I missing, first of all? You don't know what you're missing, huh? Okay. It sounds like it. So, Eric. Colt is bummed out. Yeah. Colt is it. bummed out. Colt is the mayor of Bum City. <laughs> yeah. The body language was not good, because when he sat down, he casually put his arm on the bed, but he put it over her entire body, almost like he was wrapping her legs in his arm. And it was like very possessive, like to say, this is my chick. I'm a good looking guy in good shape. And this is the girl that I'm with. And Colty was like, yeah, we were just, because right before you got here, we were just, you know, maybe talking about getting back together. You know, I got her into the country. So just thinking maybe we'd talk about that. I didn't know you were coming. So he probably thought he could have her back whenever he wanted. But this dude is there now. Yes, he is. Yeah, that stinks.
guys first meet? From the internet. And I'll tell you, actually, I'd gotten out of a relationship, and um, that day, I messaged her, we matched, and when I met her, I was like, wow, wow. You consider Larissa your girlfriend, right? I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is she not considering me her boyfriend? Yeah. There was a conversation. It is so Jim weird, like watching these two like be cute together, and it's like like they have no idea. That's why Larissa's kind of hateable, right? That everybody else is like, "Oh my god, this is the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen," and these two are just like giggling, like, "Ah, Poor we're Colt. boyfriend and girl." That's why I feel bad for Colt. Yeah. And the this mom, is shitty. The mom is just sitting there yeah. going, "Like, I don't know what to yeah. do anymore." I never liked her. We'll get her out of the country, Colt. You won't have to deal with this. Yeah, and Colt is like, "Do I just uh, sit here with my mom now?" Yeah. I mean, he's his ex is with some good-looking, in-shape guy, yep. and he's with his mom. That's not a good look, man. No. I like when she blurts out, I want her deported. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get her out of here. Just a few seconds ago, I asked Larissa if she would want to get back together with Colt, and she said, never say never. Well, if that's the case, then I'll have to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Larissa, how would you describe this relationship I mean, that you have? He's so condescending. Like, yeah. he's sitting there talking to the host going, lady, I'm not worried. She's not going back to Culty. Yeah. And Culty is just sitting there looking like, hot, 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 and, that, and that's why she didn't probably go to New York, because she was with her boyfriend. Yeah, she's hanging with her dude. Yeah. It's not nice. No. I believe there's something legally involved where she can't be there. There might be. Yeah, it was her, uh, her third legal trial was coming up. Oh, no, I know that. Uh, but, yeah. uh, her third. Third. Assault charges? Yes. Yep. I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> you think uh, uh, Larissa every now and then loses her temper? Yep. Yeah. With Eric. Do you consider him your boyfriend? I consider Eric my boyfriend. He's very sweet. He's hardworking. He, he's a good partner. When we argue, we make it up like this. We always try to... Oh. Yeah. They're looking at Colt, just staring at the ceiling like, why God? Why has my life ended up this way? She says things like he's hardworking, and she looks at the camera like, unlike you, Colt. Yeah. <laughs> it's and really... We make it up. I mean, he puts up with her shit. Yeah. Colt's just staring at the ceiling like, I don't know. I wish one of these lights. He's staring right at a light going, please fall down on my head and kill me right now because this is so uncomfortable. Yeah, humiliating. Humiliating. Glad that I got a fixture for you. I went through all the Fixture? Larissa, why are you doing this? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Yes, you are. Why is he there? Why? He has no business there. Why are you doing this? To hurt him? Stop. Shut up. Larissa, you're <laughs> He tells mom to shut yeah, up. Yeah, he had enough of his mom. Pushed yeah, no through. reason for you to be doing this. That's, that's like what you would do with your significant you're other. Like, him. Hey, his mom is next to him. His mom's yeah. yelling at his ex. My son is almost obese. <laughs> and that man's in very good physical condition. <laughs> mom, you're not helping mom. Please stop. His genitals are probably more functional. Stop it, mom. It doesn't help at all. My son is going to be crying all over his own bosoms. <laughs> please, please, mom, don't bring up the bosoms again. Mom, please, I have to talk to him. Please don't bring up the bosoms. Mom. My son sits with his feet pointed out and his hands on his knees. What, mom, that doesn't, where does that help the argument, mom? Or cult. It's not in the budget right now. It's not, it's not, it's not in the budget. Or cult. Do you think that that, that that was what cult said to her when she said, you didn't bring me flowers? And he was like, we don't have the budget for it. We have to we have to be smart. We have to make smart choices. It's not in the budget. Do you think that she ever hears it's not in the budget from this stud? Nope. Nope. You don't mind spending a couple bucks? You're an ass, Larissa. I poured my heart Don't out to you. Is that the, well, why are you blaming me? You know that's under my control. I my heart out to you, and you're laughing, making fun Don't of me. No, I, I didn't. I used to respect you up until about five minutes ago. You lost her respect. Oh, he they're just mocking the mom. <laughs> it's just because they're yeah. smiling as they're arguing. They really like, are. They have dumb... <laughs> we, we're going to fuck right after the smiles. Oh, you think that's what that smile is? Yep. 
Oh, no. Do you think Colty and the mom know that they're doing that? That's a fuck smile? Yep. Oh, no. He goes like this. <laughs> hey, Larissa, you just lost her respect. Like, oh. Yeah, he's they, hateable. They couldn't care less. They're talking to poor Colt and Colt's mom. Like, they're not even human beings. Like, they're just children. Well, no, let's, let's go to Amy real quick. I don't understand this anger. What's up, Amy? Amy in New York. Hey, how are you guys? Good, Amy. I cannot stand Pal. <laughs> I want to send her home with her double chin, and she's nuts. I mean, she just had a kid. I don't care. She She's a nut job, and I feel bad for Russ. Well, we like... Uh, thank you, Amy. We like Pal, but she does... Uh, her, her role, and that's why we don't really have that many clips of Pal, is because her and Russ don't really fight so much. Right. Pow just gets involved in the other fights and tells people what they should or shouldn't be doing. Yeah. And I think that's great. Pow did the, um, when I met her in Dallas, yeah. when I was doing the improv, she did the, what was the water bucket, the ice bucket challenge? Oh my God, I remember that video. Yeah. What a video. Yeah, she was really nice. She's, she seems nice. She's a delight. She, we've had her on the show before. Many times. When we, uh, when we first started, or we a few had- times, not many, but- We had her on the phone, if, but we had Russ and Pow in studio when yes, we first, first, first started doing this. Yeah. All right, let's get back to uh, cult, poor Colty and his mom not being taken seriously at all. No. So, Eric, do you feel threatened by Colt at all? Absolutely. Why? Right. I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> no. Why'd you have to say that? Do you, I, I'm just kidding. He's like, absolutely. She's like, what? He's like, oh, come on. Larissa, go, Larissa looks at him and goes, you're threatened? And he goes, no, I'm not threatened. Look at me. What? Of him? No. Yeah, yeah Eric is hateable. Like, he's looking at the, he's, he's every high school bully that you ever had to deal with yeah. is this Eric character. And but, he, has, he has one impression to make, though. That's on, true. On this show. So he's like, I'm going for it. Yeah, he did. He's actually playing his role very well. He's probably he trying to get that spinoff. Yep. Yeah. He's like, we could shit on everybody if you want. We're always here. He's not my fault, you know this. And Eric is nice. He's I don't here. care. He's a good I don't guy. care. He's very nice. You're touching each other the whole time. Okay, I cannot, I cannot talk to them. Listen, I cannot talk to you're them. You're a monster. 32 years old, divorcing. I'm not married. Until they don't calm down. All I said was I hope you get to party and you're going to go I to jail. I want to do anymore. This is too okay. toxic for me. I don't want to be here to be betrayed by them. As she's sitting with her boyfriend. She said it's too toxic for her. The other <laughs> people are too toxic for I her. I hope you get divorced and get sent back. <laughs> you're a monster. This when they stop to offend me, I can come back with my boyfriend. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> and she hung up. Is he bothered? No, no, what are you doing? This is, he, he's telling a lot of lies, a lot of things. I don't want to be this anymore. Uh, there is a point. When, no, when they come back with respect and start calling me a lot of things, I, I will answer. So she turned off the phone, but this is another thing. Like, she turned off the phone to be dramatic, and then she calls back. She turns it right back on, and then Colt leaves, and then he walks back on. They all do it. He starts saying, get them off the screen, and they're like, no. No, we're not going to. It's just like, <laughs> he's like, hey, you, get off the screen, and they're like, no. No, Colt. How about the answer's, the answer's no. Oh, yeah. Um... I don't know what else you want to cover here. I, I uh, guess we could just kind of cover the end. I mean, we don't. Uh, clip six is my favorite. Oh, I was That's about. To, I was thinking clip yeah. six. Okay, clip six is uh, is. <laughs> this is when. So now Larissa has called back. Colt has walked off. Colt has also come back. But he comes back now, and he's saying, "I want Eric off the screen." And Eric is the new boyfriend who's like, I think I'm going to stay. And that's where we're at. Listen. Oh listen. I want to talk now. Can I talk, please? <laughs> Eric, I don't know who the you are. I don't care. But I want you off. You're disrespecting well, what you me. Want, what you want, you can't always get, sir. Who the are you? Get <laughs> off the screen. Face the facts. It didn't work. You're not a part of this. Do you Can see Larissa talk? laughing? Yeah. She's covering her mouth laughing because he goes... Who the fuck are you? Yeah. 
Yeah. Hold on, hold on. He's so mad. <laughs> he can't control himself. Don't yell. You're going to get your blood pressure up. Hold on, fuck are you? <laughs> Can you rewind that a little bit? Because <laughs> he goes. And she goes, does laugh at him. She's laughing. She's got her mouth covered. He goes, I want you off the screen. Well, you don't always get what you want. Hold on, fuck are you? <laughs> Who you are? I don't care. But I want you off. You're disrespecting well, what you me. Want, what you want, you can't always get, sir. Who the f are you? Get <laughs> off the screen. Face the facts. It didn't work. You're not a part of this, dude. Get the f off. Looks like I am. <laughs> oh, oh. And he just, he just has these hateable, hateable eyes. And expressions, yeah. He goes, "Look like I looks like I am. And he looks around the room at all the lights and stuff, and then he looks directly into the camera lens as if he's piercing the soul of Colt himself. Like, what the fuck are you going to do about yeah. it? And, gonna, and she's leaning on his shoulder. Larissa's leaning on him. Yeah, like, oh, my, my, my shining white knight. This is bull****. Okay, hold on. He's very nice. <laughs> Oh, Colt is leaving again. Point. Watch when Colt stands up. Just go back to his feet. Oh, he doesn't want that. Watch how his feet point out. Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't, he doesn't want I that. I love how his feet point out. He's, He's arch toed. He need no, no, no. Pigeon toed is oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah. He needs arch support. He does. Well, he points out because there's a lot of balance on the sides. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't want that being pointed out. They go to the sides. Get him off the thing. Right. I don't want him there. He has no business being there. Cole didn't bring a girl. That's this is wrong. Cole brought his mom. Yeah, as if Cole that just was brought a me. <laughs> as if that was a good idea. I'm his mother. I care about him. Cole didn't bring a girl. Why would he bring you? Yeah, brought his mom. <laughs> what? What are you doing here? <laughs> Oh. And I just love because he goes like uh, he goes like he's telling all the producers he leaves the stage sound stage and he's telling all the producers get him off the stage or, or get him off the screen and they're all just kind of looking at him like I don't think we're gonna do that <laughs> I think we're probably just gonna we'll probably leave him there for the time being it's too good right I won't talk bad about you Goldie oh Goldie her dumb smile his mom is just sitting there on the couch. Because no. Colt thought he was actually going to probably get back with her with this. This is like a reunion. Yeah. I love it. Rewind just a little. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. The producer just goes up to him and goes, are you okay? Like Colt goes, no. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> he's not. No. Of course he's not okay. Poor Colt. Oh, poor Colt is right. Uh, she does have her court case, though. They, 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 I like that they kind of hung in there and finished it up with her court case. Yeah, do you want to see the court case? Clip? Yeah, it's almost, I mean, just the very end. Okay, go to clip nine. To wrap this up. She goes into court. And are there, is she in the courthouse? Is there people drilling and hammering? Uh, yes, there are. The judge. Because I could hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is from the show. And she has the assault charge, the third one. Uh. I'm here in the courthouse today for my negotiation hearing of this third And arrest. she's still with the guy, Eric. And I looked up, because I was like, is this guy fake? Is this a put on? And I looked up Larissa's Instagram, and he's been on her Instagram for the last six months. Oh, so they've been together for a while. Yeah, they've been together, I think, since like the beginning of the year, based on the Instagram. Yeah, I knew this was coming. Oh, yeah, but did you know they were in the same room? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. Coming. That was a nice little, uh, Surprise. Nice little how do you do. So she's not getting back with Colt. No, this guy's in much better shape and appears to support her much better, too. He seems like he's a little, little nuts himself. You have to be. You have to be. Yeah. Yes, the code. I don't want to say name here. It's in there. You don't need to look at him. You don't need to do anything. Just go in. I don't know if Debbie and Colt can influence my case, but I think that both are dangerous and they want revenge. Hey, guys. Hi, Adam. Hey, Larissa, good to see you. Oh, the, uh, Adam. Hi, Adam. Eric e. she can't help it. Eric e. and Yeah, but I you. wonder, this is the lawyer, Eric, who's slightly, he Eric. looks exactly like the boyfriend, except slightly taller and slightly better looking. Yeah. So I wonder if now the boyfriend, who's such a shithead, is going, uh-oh, just in case. No, I don't think she'll fuck the lawyer. Why? I mean... Maybe, but I mean, the lawyer's got shit to do. <laughs> he's, not, he's not dealing with this. <laughs> Maybe you're right. He's just negotiating her down to a, a misdemeanor. You don't need his life ruined. No. 
Get you American. <laughs> okay, Larissa, today is the big day, okay? Ah, uh, do you think that you have a chance to go to the jail? I don't know. So it's very important. So basically, he's just telling her. It's a fake conversation. Uh, it is, yeah. Do you yeah. think they, they probably say, ask if you're going to go to jail? Do you think I can go? Negotiation we make today, you go along with those requirements, okay? All of this may have happened after the case anyway. You don't know when they actually had the conversation. Oh, they like have, they film it after they leave the courthouse. After they, they already know the results. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, I don't, we don't need to see all of it. We can just go to the very, you know, just the very end. Uh, let's Colt. see when Colt shows up. Yeah, Colt yeah. and his mom show up. I'd like to hear Colt's commentary on the whole thing. Colt has grown his hair out a little bit. It's slicked back a now. He's got a Lost beard. Lost weight? Some. Yeah, not all. <laughs> it's a process. I got an ass. Yeah. That's the, that's the issue. Yeah. That really is one of the, one of the key issues here in this whole thing. <laughs> That ass has made a lot of men do a lot of things do you think they Cole shouldn't misses have done. It? Yeah. You think yeah. he's well, he probably had she took care of him night when she needed to. He just she rocked his world. Yeah, but she's he's probably had a lot of partners that look like that. No. Oh, okay. My life and I can be deported. Called his mom, pull up of course, the two of them. Yeah, well. Colt's got a ride in style. I'm a little cautious about seeing the rest of today. I was really depressed after I came back from the tell-all. It was really hard. I felt like I hit rock bottom. I hate his emotional. hands in his pockets. Yeah, I mean, with the torso issues that we discussed before, you don't want to put your hands in your pockets because it opens up your jacket. And, yeah. it, it and puts, the, the hands just kind of flop out like they're half in the fucking... Because the, the slacks are tight because yeah. of the thigh issue that we haven't discussed yet, but it's similar to the torso issue. Yeah. It's good <laughs> juicy thighs. He does. Does a lot of meat on them bones. Mm -hmm. I feel like she played me, and I don't really want to see her. Okay, let's go. I would like Larissa to. Go I to think jail. that she should be executed. <laughs> the death penalty is allowed, and I think they should execute her. <laughs> 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 oh, mom. She gets away with everything in her life, so at this point I would like her to take responsibility for something. I think she probably will. What? Larissa, I think she'll probably find I think so, yeah, I think so, too. I think it's, uh, it's absolutely. Oh, it's just a great so show. So she got to stay. They plead it down to, like, a, she has to do community service and some... Nonsense, but she gets to stay. The moment on this reunion special that really broke Colt was when the boyfriend goes, if need be, I would sell my house and move to Brazil with her. And Colt, he goes, what's going on? What's going on? Because you realize how real it is. Yeah. You're like, oh, no. He lost her. Yep. At the end, she says, Colty and Debbie suck it. <laughs> because they don't control whether or not she stays anymore. Nice. You know, you know Colty and Debbie suck it. I got two words for you. Suck it! <laughs> and now you know she has to. She has to fight. She has still has to try to immigrate here. Yeah, but Eric ain't moving to Brazil, and she won't want him in Brazil. Nah, she, she wants to be here. She wants to go. She's in Brazil. She doesn't want some Brazilian guy. Yeah, absolutely. Want more Jim and Sam? Catch up with full episodes and interviews from celebrity guests anytime on demand using the SiriusXM app.